Hey guys, hear me out. If you've been searching for a new construction home in the Northern Wake County area, then you're probably pretty well aware there's like literally nothing out there under $400,000. Well today, I'm here to announce that yes, there is a brand new community in the town of Wake Forest that you can purchase a brand new home for under $400,000. And no, these aren't tiny homes or something your kids would construct on PlayStation or Xbox playing Minecraft. Want more info? Well stay tuned because we're about to get started right now. Sanders with the Mike Sanders team at Remax United in Raleigh. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new Wake Forest community that's pretty unique in this crazy low inventory market we're experiencing right now. And that's a new construction community with homes that are actually priced under $400,000. If you're wondering where these mythical homes are located, we'll just head about five minutes north of the downtown Wake Forest business district just off of US 1A where you'll find the fantastic new community of Everly. In today's video, we're going to do a drive-through and a flyover of the Everly community to check out some of the very first homes being built by the team of two great builders, Terramore Homes and Herring Homes. Afterwards, we'll check out the nearby local school options and we'll take a look at some of the nearby retail and restaurant choices that are located within a short drive of the Everly community. Hey guys, whatever you do, don't bail out early on me because at the end of the video, we're going to take a tour of one of the awesome four bedroom, three bath plans built by local builder Herring Homes. Afterwards, we're also going to figure out how much of a monthly payment it might take to find yourself in one of these great homes. Within the Everly community, you're going to have a pretty wide range of designs and options that are going to pretty much fit any lifestyle. You're going to find homes here that range from three to five bedrooms and two to four baths with some pretty open designs. Home square footages are going to range from 1,566 square foot ranch homes all the way up to 2,773 square foot multi-level homes. You're going to find lot sizes here averaging around a quarter of an acre in size with several measuring up to one half acre in size. I gotta admit, you're not gonna really get a huge yard here. However, what you're gonna lose in lot size, you're gonna make up for in a really convenient location near downtown Wake Forest. In fact, probably one of my favorite things about the Everly community is the location. Like I mentioned earlier, the community is only about five minutes north of the downtown Wake Forest business district. One of the things that I think buyers will like most about this location is the fact that this community is located right along US 1A, which is an alternate route from Capitol Boulevard. As a matter of fact, if you happen to have seen my video on the nearby community of East Woods of Patterson, then you're already familiar with this area since it's just a short drive down the street. In that video, I describe this area as sort of a secret enclave where you're kind of in the middle of everything but without a whole lot of traffic. Here you get the convenience of being located sort of in the middle of everything, such as shopping and other urban conveniences. The closest I-540 interchange is going to take you about 20 minutes depending on the time of day. Research Triangle Park in downtown Durham is going to take you somewhere between 35 and 45 minutes, again depending on the time of day. If living in a community with super convenient access to outdoor recreation is something that's important to you, then you're going to really like this location. You're only about 20 minutes from the Falls Lake Recreational Area where you're going to find tons of opportunities for all kinds of water sports as well as camping, kayaking, and biking. In my mind, one of the best aspects of this location is the fact that you're a quick five minute drive or a really short walk to the nearby E. Carroll Joyner Park, which is a 117 acre park that's the largest and newest public park within the town of Wake Forest. Here there are three miles of paved trails for walking, biking, and inline skating. From the neighborhood, you're going to have convenient access to lots of retail, shopping, and dining opportunities. There's the nearby Harris Crossing Shopping Center. It's about a five minute drive west of the community where you're gonna find a community grocery store. There's an anytime fitness facility. There's quite a few other neighborhood retail businesses and dining options. Located only about eight minutes south is Wake Forest Crossing Shopping Center where you'll have an easy commute to retailers like Kohl's, Marshall's. There's a PetSmart in there. There's literally tons of other retailers and restaurants. Okay guys, here's a biggie. I've mentioned this in a couple previous videos. If you're thinking about moving to the Northern Wake County area, then you're going to want to keep in mind that right now the North Carolina Department of Transportation has plans to begin work in 2024 on the first leg of the Capitol Boulevard North Upgrade Project. 
This is gonna be a huge, massive undertaking. It's a $747 million project to convert Capitol Boulevard to a controlled access highway all the way from I-540 in Raleigh all the way up to Purnell Road in Wake Forest. Ironically, Purnell Road is nearly parallel to the Everly community. So conceivably, if you typically would find yourself traveling to points south of the Everly community, you'd be able to utilize this controlled access road, making for some really convenient access to points south of the neighborhood. Okay guys, this is a really important factor to keep in mind about the Everly community. It's actually located within Franklin County, but it has a Wake Forest address. Again, it's only about five minutes north of downtown Wake Forest. However, since it's technically located within the county of Franklin, it's going to be assigned to Franklin County Public Schools. Youngsville Elementary is less than five minutes away. Cedar Creek Middle School is about a 10 minute drive. Franklinton High School is going to be about a 15 minute drive from the neighborhood. You're also going to have some really convenient private and charter school options that are not too far from this location. Youngsville Academy, it's a really cool school that's only been open for a couple years. It's about a 10 minute drive. Franklin Academy, it's in Wake Forest. It's about a 10 minute drive from the community. If you'd like more information on school rankings on these or any other schools, I'd recommend checking out one of several popular school ranking sites, such as greatschools.org, niche.com, or schooldigger.com. Okay guys, as promised, here's the fantastic four bedroom, three bath hydrangea model, measuring out at approximately 2,029 square feet. It's built by Herring Homes, which is a really awesome custom builder known for incredible craftsmanship and quality homes. This home has an incredible open concept family room, kitchen. You're gonna find stainless steel appliances here. The home has a very practical design. There are spacious nine foot ceilings on both the first and second floors. Okay guys, let's go inside and check this home out. I know you're wondering what a home like this is going to cost. Well, at a purchase price of $400,000 and an interest rate of 3%, with 20% down, your monthly payment, including principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, would cost around $1,991 a month. This is pretty incredible when you consider that a lot of apartments are going to rival a payment like this. If you're curious about some of the best nearby communities located near the Everly neighborhood, then you're going to want to check out my video, The Top 5 Neighborhoods Near Downtown Wake Forest. Just click the link above. Guys, if you're considering a move to the Triangle area, there's tons of realtors to choose from. Why not choose one who's not only a native, but one who's helped tons of families just like yourself relocate here from all across the United States. People who decided that the smart move was to get Mike and get moved.